guys, good afternoon. Um, ako ba talaga ay inborn to play guitar? Or it's just part of uh, the product of society? Let's find out. Hindi natin na-assure that psychological perspectives and philosophical perspectives are purely telling the truth about the self. We want to to also find out other perspectives. So let's check the sociological perspective or the self as a product of society. So I'm going to ask these questions to you. So when you were born, do you think that your infant self just said, oh, I think males should go for blue? Normally, kapag kalalaki pinanganak ay blue daw ang paniniwala nila na maganda ang, ang kanilang um, magandang kulay and play guns while girls should choose pink and play dolls so do you think ito ba ay inborn or natutunan the color selection like blue or the pink for the male and female or paglalaro ng baril at ng dolls and do you, did you already decide on your own that you will do these hobbies O yung habis ninyo, pinili nyo ba yan? That you will follow a certain religion, even religion. Do you think the religion per se um, is inborn or is it a product of society? That you will be part of the Filipino nation. So these are the key concepts of sociological perspective of the self. First, we need to understand the culture. So, of course, culture is the total way of life. So, everything you do, everything you say, everything you think that could result into a manifested action, that is a culture. And norms, of course, that is part of the culture. So, um, the components of culture, uh, one of this is the norm, which is the rules on what to do or what not to do in a certain situation. So, it is a question of what should be done and what shouldn't be done in a certain situation. It doesn't have um, that um, grave uh, punishment or penalty whenever it is violated. For example, when you are on a wedding, you shouldn't be wearing black. You should wear white because there's a wedding or a certain theme. On values, one of the components also, values are the ideal behaviors when we say ideal, it is the best behavior or the principle that set the standard of what is acceptable and admirable from a person who is part of society. And also we have social institutions. And when we talk about social institutions, these are created. Now these are created, which are sets of ideas the norms, practices, or mechanisms organize and focus on addressing the needs of a community. So, ito ay um, set of ideas na binuo just to, um, to satisfy the need or a certain need of a certain community. Like, for example, um, medical institution, which, uh, which is providing... Uh, medical assistance to the people and uh, academic institution and socialization is also a lifelong process one of the key concepts also is a lifelong process of learning teaching internalizing and living the culture of a society so whenever you are interacting with other people that's what we call socialization and status is our position in a society or a particular group Status is a sociological term that uh, would identify what is your position in a society or a particular group. So are there, there are different statuses in sociology such as master status, um, acquired status, etc. etc. But when we talk about status, it is your position in the society. And role, this is um, these are the expected behaviors norms, values, and attitudes of a certain status. Well, that is the role. So if you are having an acquired status, you should have an expected behavior, expected norm, and values and attitudes that should be observed on you. That is what we call role. So 
according to the sociological perspective of the self, the self is actually an influence of a group life. So it is based on the assumption that human behavior is influenced by group life. Sabi nga ng normal na kasabihan, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Because a group life is a big influence of whoever you are right now. So for sociologists like me, then Cooley, the self does not depend on biological predispositions just like what I was saying a while ago. In psychological and philosophical perspective, there were some theories that were saying that um, the self is actually a product of innate nature of an individual or biological predisposition of an individual like hormones or like um, the consciousness of beyond uh, beyond material or consciousness of beyond what is natural. So on sociological perspective, it is not true. It is actually a product of social interaction. So kung sino yung nakakasama mo, yun yung nagiging parte ng iyong self. Sino nakakausap mo, yun ang nagiging parte ng iyong self. So for this sociological perspective, um, um, it's, it actually says that um, be careful of who who you will be with no so if you want to be a master of a certain field or a certain skill you should be with the person or the, per, the group of persons who are actually skilled on it so that's a um, sociological perspective of the self so the sense of self emerges as the individual partakes in the society so the sense of self lumilitaw lamang yan kapag ka nandun na siya sa society so therefore whenever uh, it, when Whenever you are not partaking or if you are not partaking in a certain society, you are not improving or you are not developing yourself. So for you to develop yourself or to identify yourself, you need to be part of a certain society. So while the individual seeks for solid and stable self-identity in modern society, normally we are actually looking for the self or the stable identity of the self in the modern society the postmodern individual also are trying or individuals are trying to avoid fixation what what does it mean when we say fixation fixation is something that is already um absolute and unchangeable it is something that is fixed like tradition customs in the society so that's what we call fixation so in order for the postmodern individual to avoid fixation they are opening themselves to other opportunities and other ways of knowing the self not just believing on the culture that they are in um, actually they are also looking for other um, groups or societies the reason why um, internet is so powerful that it develops the other side of yourself the unknown side of yourself by uh, watching videos, by uh, um, involving yourself in social medias and internet, YouTube, or other sources of information, you can now see the different uh, views about the self and you can actually find out if that could be you. So sociological perspective of the self according to Jean Baudrillard, a French philosopher, the self is found in the prestige symbols of goods consumed by people so for uh, for Jean Baudrillard a French philosopher he was saying that uh, you can find yourself in the prestige symbols of goods na kinukonsume ng mga tao like for example cell phones gadgets so if you want to identify who you are uh, find out what what kind of gadget do you have no so sometimes these prestige symbols of goods are actually um, defining the kinds of individuals and selves that people are now. Kasi nga, um, we are what we eat, di ba? So sabi ni Jean Baudrillard, kung ano yung kinukonsume natin, that's who we are. So the, the postmodern person has become an insatiable consumer they ba ang mga ang mga tao right now they are insatiable consumers why they are not satisfying themselves after getting a certain uh, desire they will want uh, another 
um, another thing. Therefore, when uh, whenever there is another advertisement of a certain um, product or goods, of course, they will try to satisfy that desire and uh, buy it again. Like for example, the iPhone 14, but for them, it's not just a cell phone. It's, it's part of uh, a status symbol, a prestige symbol. So kung ano'y kinukonsume ng mga tao right now, yun yung nagiging sila. So according to Jean Baudrillard, tayo daw, ang tao daw ay finding ourselves through these prestige symbols of goods. Therefore, if people desire to be satisfied with things in life, they should not be persuaded by the postmodern culture of advertisement and mass media which suggests false needs. So, Charles Horton Cooley is also one of the sociologists describing the self, looking glass self theory. According to him, people whom a person interacts with become a mirror in which he or she views himself or herself. So, self-identity or self-image, you are seeing a self-image, is achieved through a threefold event which begins by conceiving an idea of how a person presents himself or herself to others, how or he or she analyzes how others perceive him or her, and how he or she creates an image of himself or herself. So, whenever you are presenting yourself to the other people, you are presenting another person. No, to the, to those people and analyzing uh, or you are analyzing on how they perceive you and you are actually creating an image or mirror image of yourself on how they perceive you as an individual so kapag tayo nakikipag interact sa tao we are trying to please these people and uh, trying to show another's another version of us because we are perceiving something we are perceiving how they inter uh, how they they view us as an individual and you will adjust according to that view or perception meron kang pananaw on how people uh, perceive you so yung nanay mo tatay mo yung friends mo teachers mo iba-iba ang pananaw mo kung paano kanila tinitingnan like for example, in this picture, no GIF, um, this is how you see how your college friend see you. And this is how you see how your parents see you. This is how, your bo how you see how your boss see you. And how your online friend sees you. So, ito yun. Ano yan? Ang, ang looking glass self ay... Of course, may pananaw ka na ang tingin ng nanay mo ay mabuti kang tao. Tingin naman ng college friend mo ay matalino ka. Tingin ng boss mo ay mababa ka lang. Ganon. Tingin ng uh, online friend mo ay devil ka, evil ka. But these perceptions are not really true about yourself. This is just your perception on how they see you. So it doesn't mean the looking glass self is true. It is sometimes more or less hindi totoo. And yet, we believe it is true. So, that's what we call looking glass self. So, since these perceptions are subjective, a person might have wrong interpretations of how other people evaluate him or her. So, since mali-mali yung as in subjective tayo, uh, minsan nag-iiba o mali yung interpretation natin and evaluation natin on how other people see us. It would be critical if he or she thinks that others judge him or her unfavorably because who could develop uh, he could develop a negative self image which is very dangerous because bababa ang self esteem mo and there is a tendency that you would not believe yourself anymore so let's if i were you try to um to to deeply think about this and deeply think about yourself on what kind of person you are not just by by um, by letting yourself <clears throat> believe on uh, your perception of how they see you. <clears throat> if I were you, you should. It is better if you would ask them. <clears throat> George Mead um, proposed the social self theory. If a person develops a sense of self through social interaction and not the biological preconditions of that interaction, well, that is your social 
self. So, yung social self natin na de-develop yan by interaction to the other people. Not just because of, uh, not because of your biological preconditions like yung genes mo, lahi mo, no. So, the social self is identified based on interaction. Your interaction with other people. So, according to George Mead, there are two divisions of the self. The I-self and the me-self. This I-self and the me-self are also identified in psycholo psychological perspective. But then, we also have this I-self and me-self by George Mead. So, what are these? I-self is the subjective element of yourself. The me-self is the objective element of yourself. So, what are these? The I-self is the active side of the self. It is your active side of yourself. It represents the spontaneous and unique traits of the individual. The active side of the self is actually yourself. The I-self is yourself that is spontaneous and um, unique traits. Uh, you have these unique traits and you are not um, actually... Uh, showing these traits or this I self, unless you believe that people would accept that, no. So the I self is most probably the real self, no. Unlike the me self, it is the internalized you, which is the demand of the other people to you, no. It is your individual awareness of those demands unlike the i self uh, the, that is your unique self you don't need to please other people and when you are pleasing other people that's the, the me self you are showing the people the me self because you internalize what kind of behavior that you are going to show them or you are internalizing uh, the demands of the people so that's the i self and the me self so according to me, the full development of the self is attained when I and me are united. So you can find the fully developed you, according to George Mead, if the I-self and the me-self would be united. So kung magiging isa si I-self and the me-self, your unique self and your what, what you are portraying to the people, then sabi ni Mead, you have fully developed yourself. According to me, the self is not present at birth. So, hindi present ang sarili kapag kapanganak. It develops only during social experiences. So, in language, the gestures, the pagkilos, objects, and um, objects are used to communicate meaningfully. So, therefore, if, if you cannot talk, if you cannot use gestures, cannot use objects, Therefore, you cannot communicate meaningfully. So, therefore, the baby that doesn't have the idea of our experiences about the society cannot actually develop the self. Three stage process of self development, according to George Mead. One is preparatory stage, yung 0 to 2 years old. Then play stage, 2 to 6 years old. Then game stage, 7 to 9 years old. So, the preparatory stage of 0 to 2 years old, in this stage, children imitate the people around them, especially family members. So, whatever the, the family members are doing, that what the baby would do. So, they copy behavior without understanding underlying emotions. So, they don't know what's happening. They don't know the emotions. They, they don't really understand what's happening, but yet they are copying that behavior because this is the copy behavior stage, the preparatory stage. They have no sense of self. That's why they are imitating. At this stage, children are just preparing for role taking. So they are still on the stage of preparation for role taking. So play stage, two to six years old, children start to view themselves in relation to others as they learn to communicate through language and other symbols. At this stage, role taking, uh, role -taking at this stage, role taking is exhibited. So more or less, they are trying to uh, exhibit some role taking just like yung pagwawales, diba? They are trying to do things that are not necessary and yet it is part of that um, uh, preparation, preparation stage for role taking. However, children do not perceive role-taking as something expected to them. So it's not something that um, uh, it's not something that they are very willing to do because they are 
taking the role, but they just want to to do it as a play stage, diba? because they are trying to play. So play stage, the self emerges as children pretend to take the roles of um, specific people or significant others, those individuals who are important agents of socialization. At this stage, the self is developing. Game stage, seven to uh, seven and up years old, children understand not only their own social position, not only the position, but also the people around them. All the children are now understanding what kind of position they are in that society. So even the people around them. So at this stage, children become concerned about take into account in their behavior. They are taking the responsibility of, uh, of what they are doing. So there is a sense of role taking already. This time they can have a more sophisticated look of people and an ability to respond to numerous members of social environment. So they can now respond, no? they can now uh, uh, complexly understand the things around them. So during this stage, the self is now present. So seven years old and up, there is now the self, according to George Mead. Now, let's find out the self as a product of modern and postmodern societies. So, according to Jerry Lanuza, the constitution of the self is, uh, in modern societies, can be attained, no? and can uh, find stability of the identity of the self freely by choosing in different societies. Now, it is no longer restricted by customs and traditions because you can now find different cultures, traditions in the internet, not only the tradition that your grandfather, grandmother told you. No, there is no restriction anymore. You cannot uh, box yourself in a certain belief because there are many beliefs in the world. There are millions of beliefs in the world. <clears throat> if you can see in the Philippines right now, the Filipinos are now trying to search of who they are. No, hindi na rin sila yung mga tipo ng tao na sumusunod lamang kasi kultura o tradisyon. Um, while this newfound freedom offers infinite possibilities kasi napakalawak ng buong daigdig. No, napakaraming posibilidad on uh, finding out what who uh, what and who you really are. No? possibilities or possibilities for self-cultivation. Ang problema na nga lang dito because you are in a certain society, in a small local society, there is a problem or there is a possibility of alienation and dehumanization. Now, when we talk about alienation, of course, kung halimbawa you are in the Philippines and yet you believe on Russian culture, you believe on on Korean culture, may alienate ka eh in, in the Philippines. You could be rejected Diba? Pwede kang reject ng Pilipinas, lalo na kung hindi ka naniniwala sa, sa mga superstitious beliefs like the Filipinos are believing right now or a certain culture that the Filipinos are believing right now. Baka hindi mo napaniwalaan yun. So you will be alienated. Or even dehumanization. When we talk about dehumanization, ang, ang humanity is differently uh, defined by different people. Of course, if you are in a group of people, who believe that uh, being humane is something that what they do, if you are not doing the same thing as they do, of course, uh, tawagin ka nilang inhuman or inhumane. So, magkakaroon ng dehumanization. So, a peer which hinder the full develop of human potential. Dahil doon, of course, dahil nire-reject ka ng society mo, possible talaga na ikaw mapilitan kang sumunod na lang sa culture na meron sila. Kasi they believe you are being inhumane and being an alien. So, hence, there is a need to discover the authentic core of the self for the individual to freely work towards self-realization. So, sabi niya, kailangan daw makita ng tao yung tinatawag na authentic core so that you would really live and die for what you believe of who you are. Kaya lang itong authentic core na to, ready ka ba na to live and die for it? Because there are so many people who will judge, who will judge you. But since you believe it is the authentic core, and you are internalizing it, you will realize that it is your 
your your identity as the self. So if that's so, you could be convicted with this belief and you would uh, live and die for it. Whereas the dissolution of traditional values and communities in modern society has led the individual to construct a solid and stable self-identity. Yes, that's true. Now, because of breaking out the habits of traditions and customs in a certain community could make you fully develop your own self, your own identity. Sabi nga natin, ang problema lang dyan, ire-reject kasi ng maraming tao yan. Hindi ka paniniwalaan ng tao. So it's a matter of how you accept that or how they would accept that. Uh, I, how they would accept you as an individual kung nakita mo na yung sarili mo. Wala namang ganong maniniwala dyan. Especially like for example, ang Filipino belief of having marriage no ng as early as 20 or 25 years old no kapag ka ikaw ay kakasal daw 20 25 ikasal ka paano kung halimbawa ayaw mo pa because you are trying to find out about yourself sasabihin nila syempre baka baka magsisi ka bandang uli right but then it is something that is very important you need to decide on your own that's according to Jerry Lanuza the postmodern individual welcomes all possibilities for self-improvement. Kaya nga marami ngayon ang nagtatravel abroad, di ba? Para makita nila ang kanilang sarili. In postmodern society, self-identity continuously changes due to the demands of multitude social context, new information, technologies, and globalization. Napakalaki ng factor ng globalization sa pag-develop ng ating sarili, no? Kasi wala nang boundaries. You can hear different perspectives. You can see different uh, behaviors. You can see different cultures. And by that, you can identify which particular culture or ideology would actually fit who you are. No? And when we talk about hap, uh, who you are, it's something that is very authentic on you. It's something that is very uh, not a fake you. No? You are not pleasing people, but it's actually you per se. What would make you happy? So there are so many choices and possibilities in the whole world. So, hindi na tayo nabubuhay ngayon doon sa kultura ng 1960s or 70s or 80s or even 1800s or 1900s na ang pinaniwalaan ng nanay-tatay natin yung din ang pinaniwalaan natin, lolo-lola natin yung din ang pinaniwalaan natin. Ngayon, napakarami ng paniniwala sa buong mundo. Meron ng tinatawag na Omigel that you can easily talk to other people, Messenger, Facebook, IG, right, Twitter, even YouTube, you, you can watch different blogs and you could say to yourself na, uy, possible pala yun. So, napakarami ng choices. No, it's a matter of how you make yourself happy and how you can identify the things that could make you happy that would fit of who you are. So, ako, according to Jean Baudrillard, he exposes the negative consequences of modern or post-modernity to individuals in the society. Sabi ni Jean Baudrillard, ang problema lang, magiging, nagiging, um, ano eh, nagiging parte na ng tao yung technology na binibili nila. So, they cannot live without them. Kaya nga sabi ko nga, yung Apple, iPhones, the MacBook, the other things that are being... Um, uh, uh, advertised by the different companies yun na nagiging sila so for him consumption structures the postmodern society so the postmodern individuals achieve self-identity through prestige symbols that they consume yun nga eh may, mayroong idea si Jean Baudrillard na kung ano kinukonsume nating technology yun yung nagiging personality natin yun yung nagiging identity natin that we cannot live without social media so, individuals seek for a position in the society through the quality of prestige symbol. So, yung prestige symbol products na yun, o goods na yun, yun yung pinipilit natin bilhin nang sa ganun makakit tayo ng ating status. Kasi nagiging status symbol na siya. So, yung identity mo ay binabase mo, o yung status ng identity mo ay binabase mo kung anong meron ka. So, the cultural practices of advertising and mass media greatly influence individuals to consume goods not for their primary value and utility, but for the feeling of goodness and power when compared 
with others. Ito yung problema with social interaction. No? We are developing the self or ourselves by interacting with other people. But then, because of that, we are trying to please them. We are trying to please ourselves by, uh, by uh, creating an illusion of um, being greater person than the others. So, because of that, we are trying to get a position that's greater than them or higher than them. And we can find that, sabi ni Jin Budriar Dao, no, by uh, buying power. So, when you have the buying power to get a certain um, top-of-the-line gadgets, top-of-the-line products na ina-advertise, you would be considered as higher individual than them. So, merong ganong ideas si Jean Baudrillard which, which is somehow nagiging totoo at nangyayari naman sa atin na kung sino yung mas maganda yung cellphone, nagtitingin ng tayo ng cellphone, mas tumataas ang tingin natin sa ating sarili o sa ibang tao. So, we are identifying the selves according to the gadgets they are having or owning. By which somehow, dangerous then. And that's all for now so it's very clear that there are some theories about the self no not just the psychological self or self or the the philosophical self but also the uh, sociological self ang pananaw ko diyan o ang paniniwala ko meron kang uh, totoong ikaw and you should show them no you should show them of who you really are and then of course, if they rejected you, you should take the consequences. But then, my idea is that there is a place in the world that would make you happy. There is a place in the world. Saan ka ba dapat dito sa buong mundo? Do not try to please people because it would make you sad and lonely for the rest of your life. Anyway, this is Levy Richard B. Cedro. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much. See you. Bye-bye.